Hello everybody, I'm Dutch and today I'm going to show you a little bit of a different DIY project. Um, this is using our dye sublimation and as you see down here, we took a um, very old photograph and, um, and we restored the photograph, but then we printed it onto 300D fabric. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to then um, attach it to one of these canvas frames that you can get at a craft store. And I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing is we need to know the size of the picture that you're going to have. This has about a three quarter inch side on here. So um, you, you need this dimension by this dimension plus whatever's going to wrap around. And then you want to go a little bit more because you don't want a little bit of white showing. And um, so this is really easy to do. I'm luckily the print comes through enough that I can really square it up on the back side and I can see right where I, I want to put the uh, frame. And then I'm going to fold up. I like to do the sides first. I just think that um, it where you have to give the folded area. I like the folded area to be on the top and the bottom because it's harder to see than on the side. So we're going to start with the side pieces. And I use a staple gun. I like to do the middle first. I think you can see where I'm going at with this. Now we can print on um, different fabrics. I wanted a canvas look, so I went with the uh, 300D polyester because uh, it has that rough texture. But if you wanted something smooth, we could print this on uh, xenon fabric. Um, also, that gives a little bit more vibrant color if that was really important. It just wasn't for this case because we're using kind of an old time photo. So I have this pulled really tight. Okay, so we got the sides done. And um, now I'm gonna have to make some type of pleat in here. And what I like to do is to bring this to a 45 degree angle. And I kind of put a crease on there. And then I like to take a little piece of scotch tape and this just holds it in place while I fold it. Now, if you tuck this like this down there, you won't have any double pleats on there. And I'm going to pull this up. And you can see the nice corners that I'm making here. And again, I staple in the middle. And then I staple on the sides. Okay. And then all I have to do is to the top yet. So remember, we want a 45 degree angle. This is a great way. I mean, these, these are great gifts. Um, it's very personalized and how, how can you beat something like this? You made it yourself. And yet, I mean, you can see I'm making this in like five minutes. Oh, missed that one. I want to make sure everything's nice and tight there. Now I'm going to go through and I'm just going to add a 
So there's five staples on each side. This is just for good measure. So there you have it. I put a little bracket on the back there and this project's done. Thank you, everybody.